What is up guys, Oddity here, and today I will be teaching you everything you need to know about the nether update, where diamond armor is now no longer the strongest armor in game. Also, I do want to say, this is a ruined nether portal, and those were added into the game. They spawn sometimes with chests that have loot inside, and they'll have sometimes gold blocks. And these chests I made are all the new blocks, and items, and entities added to the game are also in here too so if we head over into the nether and we go across this awesome bridge i made we will go over here into the warped fungus biome where we will have the warped fungus trees and i can get that block for you it's called warped stem because it's actually not a tree it is just technically a fungus but they look like trees so you can make them into logs and you can make them into like crafting tables and such they also spawn with shroom lights which is pretty cool um they're the exact same brightness as glowstone and easier to get because glowstone you need a silk touch or you need to collect a lot of it because it gives you glowstone dust which is generally not too good and yeah but just those are pretty useful blocks if you ever want to light anything up in the nether and you don't feel like getting that one pickaxe that silk touch pick silk touch pickaxe that is hard to use they also added this it's another type of nether wart like i could pull it up right here uh it's warped it's a warp bleh. it's warped wart block also i don't know how this is here but that's what basically the leaves on the trees are all right let's go to the next biome all right so this is the chris chris no yeah. this is the cr crimson crimson forest yeah uh yeah they had they spawn with um they spawn with this this is this is the crimson stem this is the nether wart block these are, I believe, either the twisting vines, is yeah, weeping vines. All right, so those are the weeping vines. We didn't see any, but in the other biome, there are these. These are the twisting vines, so you can use those to climb. They're really easy to climb too. It's not like you have to do some parkour thing. And over here, as you can see, there is gold ore in the Nether now. So if you want to get gold and have some gold armor, so piglins don't attack you. There will be gold or in the nether. Alright, let's go to the next biome. Alright, so this is the Soul Sand Valley. Um, this is where blue fire is usually in the nether. Blue fire spawns on soul soil and soul sand. So, you can also make a different variants of things like torches uh lanterns and campfires this is how you make a torch one soul sand block one stick and one coal or charcoal this is how you make a lantern right here uh, i'm gonna just put this right here and here and here so you know this is how you make the soul lantern you take one blue fire torch and you take eight nug iron nuggets around it get out of here gassed and that's how you make the soul lantern and how to make the soul campfire is you take one block of soul sand and you put it right here you take three sticks and three pieces of oak wood and if we go down my amazing bridge that took me a while to build you will see that there is also bone blocks and a lot of Gaston skeletons now bone blocks spawn in here they're supposed to be like remnants of like I don't know creatures from the past or something but also beware of this area because skeletons spawn here a lot and so do gas it's like their home so you want to make sure you have a good shield and probably like a sword to deflect these guys but yeah just stay safe guys please please don't die in the new nether that would be unfortunate and I wouldn't have done my job well these are the basalt deltas I'm gonna give you guys a good look because it's like my favorite favorite biome this isn't the best look of it, but you know, it's pretty freaking sick. If we come over here, this is basalt, or basalt, or whatever you want to say. This is polished basalt. You can make it into polished basalt. Um, beware of the magmas, like this sign says. And also the lava pools, don't let them knock you in. Um, don't get killed by them because that would that would just be bad guys you don't want to die in the nether that's just make you look like a noob and then this this is 
This is Blackstone, alright? This is the most beautiful block in game, okay? It's so freaking beautiful. I use it for the walls because it freaking looks amazing. But yeah, all those builders out there, just just check this out because it's freaking Sikaroonies if you know what I'm saying. This is the Piglin Bastion. The Piglin Bastion has lots of loot, gold, piglins, and hoglins. This is a chest I found. It's got a lot of bone blocks, gold armor, ancient debris, and iron nuggets, arrows, and such. If we go back up here, down this amazing bridge I built, once again, it is amazing. You can see all the gold and all the mobs hiding in here. Also, a lot of lanterns spawn here. And over here is Gilded Blackstone, and if you mine it, you will get gold, I believe, gold nuggets. And I think you can also cook it, I mean, smelt it, excuse me, in a furnace, and it'll give you gold. So, yeah. And if you come over here, they do have gold blocks here waiting for you. Alright, guys, so now I'm going to tell you how each of these new mobs work. Also, the zombie pigmen that you guys all know, 2010 to 2020. Um, they did get replaced by zombie piglins, so rip zombie pigmen. These are piglins. They'll spawn with crossbows or gold swords, sometimes enchanted. These are striders. The baby ones will ride on top of the adults, which is pretty cool. This is a hoglin. This is a zombie hoglin. If you take a hoglin or a piglin into the overworld, they will become zombified versions of themselves. Now I'm going to teach you what they all do. Hello, hello, welcome to my animal cage pen where there are animals that I caged inside of pens. Okay, so first up, we have piglins. There are some things you need to be aware of, okay? If you are in survival, do not mine any of these blocks, any of these blocks in front of them. They will kill you. If you mine any gold in front of them, any variants, anything at all, they will kill you. So just be careful and also do not open chests in front of them. Even if the chests are empty, they will also try to kill you. So just be aware, okay? These are hoglins. Hoglins will attack you and sometimes piglins will hunt them and do dances afterward. I will put that on the screen. I hope you enjoyed that little dance the piglins did for you. But over here are the striders. The striders live in lava. If they're outside of lava, they become pretty darn cold. And if they're in water, they will die. So be careful if you bring these guys to the overworld. And you can ride them with a saddle if I get one for ya. Right over here. Then, after you get them a saddle, you cannot control them unless you get warped fungus on a stick and if you do they actually can run pretty darn fast and if they're in the lava they go really fast so it's pretty good travel if you're ever trying to get around in the nether and you want to go across lava just be aware of these gas they will blow up the, the strider and they will kill you so um, you know be careful please all right and zombified piglins the exact same i believe as normal zombie pigments so if you hit one of these piglins the zombified piglins won't hurt you although if you hit any of their kind they will try to murder you and they probably will succeed so just just don't do anything stupid and over here we have zoglins now zoglins are pretty cool they will dist they will try to kill any mob any mob at all it doesn't matter i think that except for them their own species they will kill piglins they will kill you they will kill your pets they will kill any mob except for their own species so be aware of these guys they're pretty strong too it takes like i believe five hits from another red sword i think the originals do too one two three four five Yep, five hits so just be aware guys and now i'm going to teach you how to make netherite this is what we call ancient debris. If oh wow, I'm in, I'm in I'm in creative. We don't we don't we don't talk about that, all right? No, we don't talk about that. Okay, I'm in survival now. If you try to mine ancient debris with an iron pickaxe, as you can see, it doesn't work. I'm gonna skip ahead to that. So as you can see, it does not break by an iron pickaxe. You will need a diamond pickaxe to mine this thing. And 
they're pretty hard to find, but once you get enough of this, I believe I have one netherite scrap, you will need four netherite scraps, so I'm going to get that real quick. Real quick, I want to show you that you can also cook ancient debris, I mean smelt, and that's how you get the netherite scrap. But you will need four gold, four netherite scrap, and then you will have to craft a crafting table. And I forgot to do that. Alright, now that you have a crafting table, you take this, you make netherite in that formation, two gold at the bottom, two gold to the middle right, one gold to the middle, or one netherite scrap to the middle left, and three netherite scraps on the top, that makes you one netherite ingot. And then you take either a piece of armor or a sword, I'm going to take the chest plate, you put it here, you put the chest plate there, and you put this here, and there you go, one knot back resistance, excuse me, netherite chest plate. I believe you understand that and I'm going to be showing you one more new feature that helps you a lot in the overworld. Let's get into it. The last feature of this video is called Lodestone. You will need eight pieces of chiseled stone bricks that looks like this, one netherite ingot, and put it in formation exactly like this. I could craft one for you right now if I was in survival. You need one compass, all right? So you take a piece of lodestone, all right? And you put it maybe in your base. Then you take your compass and you left click, or L2 for my controller, and it will always point to your lodestone. So let's say you don't have coordinates on, and you don't, or you do, and you don't know where your house is, you're really far away, the compass will always point to it no matter what which is pretty cool I've seen some people do like some crazy math skills stuff with this that helps them figure out where how far away everything is which is pretty cool so yeah this is a pretty useful item I would say I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe and like for more awesome content turn on those notifications please for me and make sure that you will get a pet strider because they are adorable and thank you for watching and goodbye